The environment agency has got a major role to play in uh, helping wildlife to cope with climate change. There are quite a few species that are going to suffer quite badly from warming temperatures, increased storm events, etc. And the Vendace is a classic example of that kind of species. We have to try and keep the fish within the same watershed so that we're not introducing vendors to another catchment. So we have fairly limited options. But we've chosen sprinkling tar not, not just because it's a lovely clean tar in a beautiful location, but also because it's much higher up. So with that increase in altitude, we, we expect the water temperatures to remain colder. Uh, so that will give us some buffer against any future changes in climate, in particular rising water temperature. The only disadvantage of sprinkling tern is it's about 500 metres above us here, so we're going to have a, a job to carry them up. But uh, we're going to use some llamas to do that, which will be an interesting adventure for all concerned. Given the, the sort of mountain background that these animals come from, we thought it would be a, a great idea and useful exercise and good, good publicity for all. So the aim today is to get these fish up to the tarn in the hope that some, enough will survive to establish a refuge population. Uh, the danger at the moment is we only now, we only now have this one population left in Derwent water and if we lose that one then we have great danger of losing Vendis forever in England. Um, so that's the risk, so that's why we're, we're taking up the sprinkling tarn. We've got the Vendis in the edge of the tarn here so that we can make sure that the temperatures in the bottle of with the, with the fish in it is roughly the same as the tarn so that there's no shock when we release them into the tarn. So we'll just release them into the tarn now and hopefully this will ensure the future for Vendis.